Today we're going to take you behind the scenes at our studio as we shoot some conceptual still life photos. For this type of studio work, we will shoot with our camera tethered to our computer so that we can see the photos on a nice monitor to really see the detail and colors better than we would on our camera's LCD screen. Which reminds us, this video is sponsored by LG. We'll be using the LG 4K Ultrafine Monitor as we shoot to look at the photos. Let's get right into it. For our main lighting setup, we're using this Alien B B800 strobe with a 72-inch parabolic umbrella. We're triggering our Alien B strobe with a pair of pocket wizards. We also have our Aperture 120D set up to add some fill. And we have two pieces of white foam core, which we're using as bounces to fill in some shadows. The huge parabolic will give us a nice, even light with soft shadows. We have our Canon 5D Mark IV tethered to our MacBook with our 4K LG monitor connected via Thunderbolt 3 so that we get the 32-inch display and charge our computer at the same time with the same cable. With this setup, we can really analyze our images during the shoot and make spot adjustments. For the first shot, we want to shoot a floating pineapple. We attach it to a C-stand with some invisible hanging wire that we can easily Photoshop out. Since we decided to paint the pineapple white, we thought it'd be interesting to pair it with a white backdrop, creating a minimal, single-hue dominant image. We'll use our foam core bounces as the background and floor of the image since they are super flat and clean. The reason why we wanted to shoot with this monitor in particular is because it's known for being a great monitor for photographers. The 4K resolution paired with color accuracy makes it easy for us to get the shot right on set. After that, we played around with a few more color combinations. This is where you can get creative with virtually limitless possibilities and combinations. We bought a few pieces of colored poster board at our local art supply store and used our tripod and the foam core to hold the paper in place. For us, pineapples remind us of summer, so it was important to use bright, summery colors with it. We then cut off the top of the pineapple for our next shot. We then inserted a brass dowel into the bottom section of the pineapple at an angle and then placed that into a wooden base for support. We then hung the top part with hanging wire and used toothpicks to connect both pieces in order to hold the top place right where we wanted it. Once again, we can Photoshop the toothpicks out later. Next, we have a bunch of bananas we spray painted white and we'll shoot it in a similar fashion. Originally, we just planned on shooting against a single color backdrop, but when we reviewed some test shots, it inspired us to work in more color combinations. We also noticed that our pink backdrop, though not being used, was splashing in some color into our scene. So we rolled that puppy up. With the bananas done, we had two more concepts we wanted to shoot. We had an idea to shoot an ice cream cone with a lit light bulb instead of ice cream. When we're thinking of shooting for stock, we like to think of creative ways to represent common ideas. We first tried using a store-bought sugar cone, but it was too small for our bulb and socket. So we upgraded to a gourmet waffle cone. Just right. We were able to drape the cable behind the cone and my arm, leaving us with a clean shot and nothing to remove in post-production. 
We also cut off a sliver from the bottom of a cherry so it'd balance better on the top of our bulb. For the last shot, we'll do the opposite, a fake cone but real ice cream. The cone is actually a party hat from which we remove the string and stuff with the paper towel to help prop up the ice cream and use the least amount of ice cream possible so we can enjoy it later. It doesn't look good, do you know? The first attempt didn't look so good. I just want to start over. So we called an audible and decided to integrate the bottle of glitter glue into the shot as if it were caramel sauce. Once we finished, we went through our shots in Lightroom to make sure everything was looking good. We were told we could trust that our images would have color accurate to real life because it won TIPA's best photo monitor of 2019. Quite frankly, we didn't know what or who TIPA was, but after Googling, we were like, okay. This nano IPS monitor is the real deal, Neil. This monitor is perfectly paired with Mac computers, like our MacBook Pro here. Another feature we love with the LG monitor is the on-screen control. This menu gives you quick access to monitor settings like brightness, volume, picture modes, and you can easily use split screen layouts to maximize your productivity. All right, let's take a look at our final images. We hope you enjoyed watching us do something a little different today. If you want to check out the LG Ultrafine monitor we use in this video, click the link in the description. We'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye. Bye. Rachel, no. You're good. Is that enough time? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs>